What's up everyone? Welcome back to another car vlog. If you read the title, which I'm sure you already have, and you've seen the thumbnail, again, which I'm sure you have, then you will know that today we're going to be installing the Weapon R short ram intake into my Corolla. Now, if you don't know what this is, then you're obviously deaf because I just said it. This is a short ram intake that's going to be replacing the stock intake uh, of my car. Now, main reason, just and change the sound just a little bit, but it was more just to increase. Let's uh, get to work. Oh shit. Welcome to the Future Time channel, everyone. Here you get to see someone who is fucking brain dead work on cars. Oh, oh, finally, oh my lord. Oh, there we go. Finally, it's free. Guess what dumbass Future Time did? Yup, took a screwdriver, tried to unscrew that right there, and rounded out the screw. So I'm gonna need to find another way to uh, unclip that. I'm dumb. I am actually retarded. Alrighty, now with my hair looking terrible, it's time to finally install the intake. Um, I was able to get this out, but unfortunately, because that was literally made by Satan himself, it took me almost 45 minutes, I'd say, to just get the little 
out or the little the the rubber that connects to the throttle body and the air intake part. So now finally with all that shit out, let's go ahead install the intake. Then we have to go back over to this mess of parts, take out the MAF sensor, reinstall it there, and do everything. Just, wow, this, it looks so different without the big black intake here. So that's going to be something we're going to have to get used to. I mean, I'm not saying that as a bad thing. I'm just saying it's, it's just, whoo. This car has been 11 years completely stock. So just seeing that under the engine is just going to make it look a whole hell of a lot different. So let's get to installing it. Alrighty, fun part. Intake time. Finally, we got this part off. Oh, this entire process has been a huge pain in the ass, but it has been worth it. Hell yeah. Alrighty, I fixed my hair and now it's time to start the car and let it idle for 15 to 20 minutes. I have to do this just so the uh, sensor, the uh, MAF sensor, gets used to the amount of airflow that's going through. Because there hasn't been this much airflow ever before in this car. So it's going to have to get used to this amount of airflow. I'm also going to see if a check engine light comes on. If it does, I'm going to figure out what's wrong with it. Obviously off camera. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and start it and let's see how it sounds too. Alright, let's go ahead. I'm using my phone now to vlog. Let's go ahead and see how it works. I have to jump start it, but yeah. No check engine light. Oh hell yeah. 